what we hope is that children are going to come in here and have opportunities to experiment and explore and discover and imagine and to really work in ways that they may not have that opportunity to either at home or in other school situations. Our focus is really on educating and providing creative experiences for children and adults. I'm Heather Lyons and I'm the Executive Director of the Living Arts and Science Center. The Living Arts and Science Center was started in 1968 by a group of people associated with the Lexington Junior League who realized that there wasn't enough art education in local schools. I'm Amy Barnhill and I've been teaching at the Living Arts and Science Center for seven years now. I did, I took classes here when I was a child and I still have the very first bowl that I ever made and I remember it really being a community place. It wasn't so much of just coming and taking classes but there were always festivals and things going on where you would come and there would be other adults and children and I remember it was a family place where I would come with my mom and you know we would have a good time together. What I really enjoy most is having worked here for so long is seeing the kids grow up, you know, really seeing that personality come out and them as artists and our memories together of each summer, you know, kind of being reunited in an art class in a different way. Um, my name is Natalie Baxter and I'm from Lexington, Kentucky. I took classes at the Living Arts and Science Center when I was little, so I've been involved with the center for about 20 years. Right now I'm teaching um, Magnificent Mural Makers, where um, kids are learning about different artists and who create uh, work on a large scale. So right now we're learning about Jackson Pollock. I like to play, what's your name, how old are you, and what do you want to be when you grow up? And a lot of the kids say, I want to be an art teacher, I want to be an artist. The kids want to be here. They're passionate about art and they're passionate about creating stuff and that really shines through. Hi, I'm Stevie Moore. I uh, teach here at Living Arts and Science Center. I'm a Lexington, Kentucky-based artist and illustrator. Um, the class going on right now is equine art. I think this is the fourth year that I've taught it. It, it, it fills up every year. It's, it's very popular. Um, and one of the great resources that we have in equine art class is uh, we have the opportunity to go to Masterson Station Park where there's actually city horses that actually we all own a little bit of them because everybody owns a couple hairs of each of the horses. I, I definitely like to introduce students to new mediums. Some things that they may have never experimented with before um, in painting or drawing. You know, I think the earlier the better somebody can become involved with uh, new, new ways of making art, with new materials um, that they may not have, they may not get in public school. Many programs and grant funds have been cut that used to exist that the Living Arts and Science Center would have an opportunity to apply for. The Kentucky Arts Council does provide some operating support, um, however that amount of funding has been cut due to their own um, cuts in the state budget and they used to have some other alternative um, programs for projects, special projects, that we could apply for for additional funding and unfortunately they have had to reduce and eliminate a lot of those programs. And so it was up to the individual counties to uh, fund art programs and my school decided that the money would be better used with a second computer lab. <coughs> so the Living Arts and Science Center is a great place not just for students but also for teachers to um, be a part of the education experience. So David, do you like your classes so far? Yeah. What classes are you taking? Um, I'm taking Design Your Own Dream House and Food Art. Do you like food art? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> what have you made so far? I've made chocolate Play-Doh, which is actually edible. My name is Laura Webb. I'm a student at Center College. 
Um, at the Living Arts and Science Center, I'm a full-time volunteer during the summer. This is my second summer here. And I do a little bit of everything. Um, registering students for classes and gathering up materials. And you can tell that they really value you being here. Everyone is very friendly and treats you very professionally. This is a place that is so unique and unusual. Every day you get to witness um, children and adults being involved in something creative and exciting and new and different. And we see the results of that all over our building, out on the grounds, in schools, in the community. Um, we see it in our teachers, we see it in the students, we see it with the parents who are coming in the door and with the staff and the work that they do. You know, in the, the world now, we really need creative thinkers. And we need people who uh, can imagine new solutions, um, can imagine new ways to do things. The arts and sciences are really the best way to allow people to become comfortable with that.